I see you there. That's right, I see you, bud. How'd you find me here, huh? How'd you find me here? Oh. You're just here for the videos? Oh, sh why do you say so? Oh my goodness. Let me just get my, oh! Oh, let me just get my old sub. Okay, you're just here for the videos. I got you, I got you. Hey, so uh, we can be friends, right? That means we can be friends. That's cool. I'm just going to put my little spear away here. Set her up nice and nice and tidy. Oh, my goodness. Y'all gave me a startle. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> so this, this is... Uh, this is my office. Obviously, that is my uh, bedroom, but you can't really see what's going on there. <laughs> Trust me, it's not much. <laughs> but uh, yeah, got my bug out back here. Got my little bug out back here. And because I used to be somewhat of a doctor in a previous life, I have my uh, first aid supplies here. Everybody knows the... Uh, antibiotic ointment got a cold compress in here i uh, have synthetic urine for uh, jellyfish things obviously and uh yeah this is basically right here this little first aid spray here is basically like a <laughs> a hypo spray i guess you could you've seen in some games right where you just have like this first aid spray and this stuff actually does work really well for its intended purpose it disinfects and uh, it has a uh, benzocaine in it. i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that correctly but it is a topical pain reliever and uh, one tip i have for anybody who is interested in hiking get yourself one of these small kits right let me get let me give you a closer look here one more time because even the small little kit here yeah, see all that stuff in there? You can fit a lot of, you got all sorts of band-aids. You know, if you have to uh, work on somebody else, we have our little doctor's gloves here. <laughs> you know, it's not just about you, right? You know, if you're touching somebody's uh, open wound, you don't want to contaminate their wound while you're just trying to help them, right? We don't want to be doing any of that. So, yeah, we can quit focusing on the little med kit here. Probably put this back in our day pack. Yeah, let's just shut that that little kitten off. Get the lighting in here a little more, uh, a little more uh, how I like it. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, hello everyone. Now uh, some of you, you can see my hat. A little uh, got a little water on. I was washing my hands, but you know, oh well. <laughs> But uh, today, uh, I'm finally releasing uh, another video. Oh, let me just turn this little music off here. Uh, but today, hey, uh, oh, excuse me. Let me just uh, boop, move the camera over here so that uh, y'all can see exactly what it is that I'm talking about, right? And I know you probably don't even recognize me without the sweatshirt, but <laughs> it's just a little warm in my office with all these candles going. I mean, I, I assume that's what what's going on. <laughs> I'm an idiot. And uh, today's episode is also not brought to you by uh, Diet Pepsi. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not sponsored by Pepsi, guys. Sorry. I wish I was. <laughs> I wish I was. I drink enough of this sh as uh, basically an analog for a uh, used to uh, self-medicate with alcohol I'm, I'm sure a lot of you who have been watching my content for some time know that I'm a veteran who is diagnosed uh, with post-traumatic stress disorder and we don't really need to go into any of the details see the camera's even going crazy it's like uh-uh don't be <laughs> don't need to talk about that seven and you know the camera's probably right. The camera's usually right. Let me just get comfortable here. And oh, let's adjust our lighting so you can see. So you can see. 
just turn that little kitten up. Not too bright. We don't want to go too bright today uh, because this light is directly in our eyes. And there, <laughs> see, I control it from the from my little phone app here. Uh, but this, the purpose of the blue light is not just, you know, for my channel, right? I actually <laughs> did buy this thing uh, for, uh, you might want to call mood lighting, whatever. Uh, I read somewhere that certain colors, certain hues, you know, blue, uh, at least to me, I think to a lot of people is a calming color, right? So when I have this light shining blue <laughs> right into my eyeballs, it, it does make it kind of hard uh, to see what's going on on the screen. But the benefit of that is, is it makes me think more about what I'm doing. Uh, it forces me to play a little more carefully. And uh, in the heat of the moment, when I'm right up here against the screen and I have tangos and, you know... <laughs> It doesn't really it doesn't really matter a whole lot uh, if that blue light's there. I just forget about it. But it does help uh, me stay calm. It certainly does that. And that's that's kind of why I like to have this blue light in all of my videos for the mask cam is because it's that calming blue light, right? And I know I get I can get excited in some of my videos and get a little angry, but I want y'all to understand uh, that this is this is a character, right? This is just a character. And, and <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to claim that I don't get anger in real life. Obviously, ang anger is a natural emotion that we all have, uh, but how you express that anger and deal with it really is what makes the difference between somebody who's considered an angry asshole, <laughs> which I've been called a, a few times, you know, but I'm not, I'm not sitting here claiming to be perfect or nothing like that. Uh, you know, I'm working on it just, just like everybody else. You know, we all have our ins and outs, our where and why and <laughs> what in the f <laughs> Oh my God. Okay. So, in today's video, uh, or rather, the purpose of today's video is to address uh, a common issue that I, I see people on, like, the Discord and the forums, uh, which, I, unfortunately, because I've been so busy with work, <laughs> I haven't really been able to uh, interact, as, at least as not as much as I would like to with the community of this game, uh, Enlisted, which I'm covering currently. And I, I don't, let me, let me tread these waters just a little carefully, but I want to make it clear that, uh, I'm not, I'm not married to this game. No, I, eventually I will be featuring other games. Uh, but I do intend, the Enlisted just happens to be currently my favorite game. Like, I don't have a lot of free time. I know a lot of you don't have a free time. So any of you who watch my videos, <laughs> you take the time out of your day to just, uh, <laughs> to check me out. And, you know, all of you who, you know, like or dislike, you know, any, any engagement, you know, helps me reach more people because, you know, I just, I want to entertain, right? Um, and speaking of struggling with anger issues, <laughs> well, one of the, one of the ways that I liked or did like to relax, uh, after a day at work that would just piss me the f off, uh, was to just sit down, you know, cause like, like, like I've said in previous videos, I've like, I wake up at three in the morning. I don't get home till 6 PM. Uh, when I stay all day and anybody who I work with is going to be laughing. What do you mean? You never stay all day. <laughs> you know, you know, we have lives. And uh, after my little, my little battle with uh, a testicular cancer, 
I grew, <laughs> ironic use of the word, I grew a greater appreciation for my time and my life as as it as it is like i i have value being in the present a, a million uh, there's no quantifiable number to even ac accurately explain what what it is like unless i'm sure obviously some of you watching have had cancer or uh, struggle with post-traumatic stress uh, I, f for the PTSD, I highly recommend this this blue light crap. <laughs> it sounds so dumb, but I, I'm I'm serious, okay? When I get home, now the first thing I do is turn old, old blue on here, go take a shower, ch ch chill the f out in the shower, and then come back, sit down right here in my office, listen to a little piano music and just let that blue light and that soft beautiful music just take my anger from down to <laughs> uh, it's a weird thing to talk about uh on a on an enlisted video but uh, again uh, the purpose of my channel is uh f to allow myself to express myself, right, in, in a way that I think is fun, right? Like, th this is super fun. Like, I, I, I must have spent, <laughs> I must have spent three hours psyching myself up to sit down here and talk with you today. Oh, my goodness, look, look, guys, triple sevens. <laughs> oh, my goodness, I don't know why I see those everywhere. <laughs> recently i've been seeing them everywhere especially in series of three you know a lot of people probably go out and buy a powerball ticket but oh yeah i did do that <laughs> i haven't even checked it yet oh my goodness that was that, was me that memory loss right but um so the purpose of today's video is to address the issue of the grind yeah and uh it to to myself personally and to a lot of you all out there viewing uh some of it i i like the grind some of y'all like the grind there's a lot of us there's a lot of us who enjoy uh grinding right let's look at these campaign levels like look <laughs> and i'm only level uh 10 nearing 11 look more sevens <laughs> jeez <laughs> Uh, but, but I mean, uh, for a lot of us uh, who are numbers minded, like the that's why I was so happy and so thrilled to see the score pop ups, right? And I I originally or, or my original idea that uh, I put out there was experience pop ups, but then uh, the question obviously arises. Uh, should should it be base XP? Probably not, because then premium players might get or pr people who purchase the uh, premium time could could probably get confused. Uh, some some people could probably get confused and wonder why am I not getting more XP? And yeah, so I understand that, but I also understand how it shouldn't be xp pop-ups because or if it it were adjusted for premium because then anybody who makes content uh if they're only uh, if they were only free to play they'd only be getting the base experience so yeah i get that the score pop-ups is a baseline perfect it's just a metric of how you're doing right and it's the same whether you pay for premium or you know, uh, some people, uh, like like myself uh, in, in a previous life, <laughs> uh, I would just buy, like when I played War Thunder, I would just buy like three days here and there or, you know, just when I knew I had time to play because, again, I don't have a lot of time. That's why <laughs> that's why my battle pass is uh, sadly only at 21. 
is lack of time. But another issue uh, with the battle pass for someone with lack of time is uh, we really we really could stand to like this last little third star. If I could get a star for grinding out uh, score, maybe not experience, maybe score, maybe score in the game. Like we have the XP pop ups that way. Uh, premium players and standard players are all on the all on the same level, and y you might think, well, why wouldn't you want uh, faster battle pass unlocks for a uh, uh, premium access? Uh, because they're separate products. Okay, there are likely a lot of people who will pay for the battle pass so that they get those 75, it's currently 75 days, which is two and a half months, which is for for the amount of, what was it, 990 gold? It's like roughly in uh, United States currency, it's like roughly $10 for two and a half months of content to grind for, right? Awesome. Uh, they might not be able to or wish to also add two and a half months of premium <laughs> uh you know i think the premium i i, I think the premium is well worth uh the or if, you know what you get out of it 13 days left my goodness i'm gonna have to renew <laughs> or or i might i might not um i may allow my premium to lapse so that i can see what happens uh, when it lapses, like, right? Because you go to managing soldiers, and I got a lot of soldiers, probably more than a free-to-player has, and I'm curious as to what happens to all those soldiers in your reserve. Did they just get locked out? Uh, I mean, it wouldn't, it'd be weird if you could still access them the same way you could uh, before, but I suppose that would be fair, right? You paid for the premium, you, you built up a, a, a a nice healthy barracks full of uh, men's <laughs> so yeah it makes sense it, that you, or at least you should be able to keep what you what you, what you earned right i imagine it's got to be that way but we're going to test it and <laughs> we're just going to see what happens because uh, at least for a few days maybe yeah just maybe at least for a few videos i want my premium to lapse so that i can demonstrate kind of Excuse me, what I am I want to demonstrate today is uh, I don't know if this is still current, but let's just pretend these two premium squads don't don't exist. Like I can't choose to not take a full complement of squads, which is it is what it is. But uh, for demonstration purposes, see, they don't even have oop, <laughs> they don't even have gear on them. Oh. And this is another thing I wanted to talk about. These premium uh, rifle squads in Berlin, they're, they're, these are the best value for the money, period. Why? Uh, because you get, <laughs> you get nine four-star men's, and I, I haven't re-rolled the perks yet, but I'm gonna do a video uh, dedicated to uh, both the Russian and the German uh, premium rifle squads because I think that they are amazing amazing value for the money and let's let's talk about why you can, you can see <laughs> get kind of an idea uh, one of the things that I think is so good about or so uh, let me think about this okay <laughs> sorry guys one of the one of the reasons why i think the squad is worth its money is because you can strip the large backpacks and all those med kits and the grenades and take them over to your other squads which where you can see here we have their large backpacks we have their med kits we have the grenades but this squad is here for grinding and today's video is like I, I don't claim to be an expert uh, on how to grind the most efficiently or whatever, but I know how to grind consistently. And we are going to demonstrate consistency today. 
And this is this is what I'm talking about. I took my premium nine man squad here, stripped them of all their stuff. No, oh, and and these guys too. These guys too with PPD. I stripped them of all their stuff. And you can do this from level one. Uh, and obviously you'll have to unlock the backpack slot for uh oh. Yeah, get the get the engineer's backpack. As soon as you put large backpacks, oh look, I forgot one. Huh. <laughs> silly, silly, silly me. <laughs> yeah, but you can see you you demonstrate right there. We just took this uh, little gentleman with one med kit, and all of a sudden he has three more, and he's going to be so much more effective. But all of my my first three squads here have all of my gear for the Russians. And see, I'm only level 10, and uh, I haven't I haven't invested a lot other than what I paid for uh, with these premium squads. So if you're interested in leveling uh, your troops, that is a huge benefit to those premium squads so that you can level the individuals with good gear because the better your gear is obviously the better you will do and the more xp you'll gain and kind of as a, a little side just just for fun we're also going to be taking out uh the event squad with the ppk 42 uh, which uh, one of my su subscribers was kind enough uh, to educate me on uh, that th this was like uh, one of the first uh, Kalashnikov weapons, as most of you know, uh, the AK-47 is uh, Kalashnikov. So that th being it, just, I know, I know guys, I can already hear you screaming through the screen. It's not a premium squad, it's only four man. Uh, yeah, it's a collector's thing. It's a collector's item for sure, but I mean... Dark flow, if you see this for any reason, please just, it doesn't even have to be a full 50% or 100% or whatever it is. I don't even remember. What is the, what is that? I can't remember. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But just like, like a 25%, 50% XP bonus, just, it's better than nothing. <laughs> I'm not trying. I'm trying not to be negative today, but yeah. So uh, here we have Artyom, who I'm trying to re-roll for this. And this, I I believe, is probably the best way to set up this particular squad. If you're interesting in using it, it comes with retraining points, and you want to get, you want to replace the agility perk with med pack usage speed. You have exactly eight points in uh, agility or what the boot <laughs> whatever and that is exactly how many you need for uh med pack usage speed and when you mix that with a large backpack and four <laughs> med kits all of a sudden this uh squad with uh, actually a really really decent fully upgraded submachine gun i mean look at this damn thing up to a hundred just under 100 meters, it'll be a three shot to down. That is powerful, especially if you swap it over. Oh, excuse me. Speaking of swapping over, I'm just going to move myself over here for the time being. And uh, there we go. Now you can now y'all can see. So we have a, a high fire rate, uh, kind of. I mean, it's a submachine gun. Obviously, it's not going to have the muzzle velocity of a rifle but it is roughly roughly half of uh, a little more than half of most bolt action rifles so you can use that as a gauge if you're used to using bolt actions or uh, semi-automatic rifles will be you know in the seven seven hundred eight hundred sometimes if they're a real squeezy boy <laughs> but anyway Let's take a look at the stats, right? Let's take a look at the stats. The rate of fire up to 920. Oh, my goodness. That's pretty impressive. And, uh, yes, it only has a 25-round magazine, but uh, here's a here's a little here's a little reason why that doesn't matter so much. The 2.1-second reload. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty decent. I imagine it's even quicker uh, if you don't have to, you know, charge it as well, right? It uh, doesn't have a lot of recoil. Uh, 17 is not a whole, 
another seven isn't a whole hell of a lot. But uh, there's another thing that I consider re-rolling is, let's go back to this. Let's go back to this. Firearm horizontal recoil while reloading. Now let's take a look back at the weapon. It barely has a six horizontal recoil. That's almost nothing. So if we replace that with vertical recoil, this thing will be a, a freaking laser beam. It'll be a laser beam. <laughs> And in addition to that, it's fully upgraded, right? So you, it, 25 round in a lot, but it reloads quick. Uh, once we get that vertical recoil perk on there, it will be silly, even in full auto. But you also have the option to go semi-auto. And again, out to just just a scrape under 100 meters. Uh, I don't, <laughs> you know, I'm assuming they're rounding down, not up, but is a three hit kill and obviously if you hit them in the head uh i'm pretty sure any headshot takes people out in this game so in semi-auto 25 rounds is a uh, pretty damn decent and you combine that with this insane fire rate if you have a, a fast little trigger finger which i don't <laughs> you should be able to uh like take out entire squads i mean hell what is uh 25 <laughs> fight it by three four four plus one uh, i don't know oh my goodness excuse me but you get the idea right you get the idea we're not going to ramble on too long so yeah. we start with the engineering squad uh first right off the bat whether it's uh core or hardcore squads or lone fighters i i personally think that it is much better or it's the best play to spawn, maybe not with an engineering squad like you see here, uh, but just some squad with an engineer. Like I'm pretty sure one of these, yeah, I see the, there's engineers in this squad as well, but the re, they're ordered this way for a reason. So when the game loads, all I have to do is press space bar and it preloads the squad that I want. That's why it's on top. And the first, uh, soldier that I have is an engineer and is meant to level up this squad, to level up these engineers so that I can take them, ooh, look, to the academy and level them up because uh, obviously your end goal, just load up another one real quick, uh, your end goal for every squad, or at least in my opinion, is to get it filled with five-star soldiers. And the only way you do that is by collecting soldiers and training them by taking them into battle. That's why I have one, two, three engineers here, right? Once these three engineers are uh, fully leveled to where they can be sent to the academy, I will do so. Right? And then... At some point, you know, once I use the academy enough to where I can't train anymore, I will spam troop reinforcement. I don't, you don't, you don't want to make a, a chore out of this. I just, this is how I do it. I just keep using the academy until I, I can't do anything else with it and then go to logistics because you'll have space because you lose two of the three soldiers and then just see all in one swoop. You just burn all those orders at once and you only have to do it once right how long how long i mean imagine how long it takes if you if you could know if you didn't have one match in the academy you wouldn't have a lot of soldiers left so and by that time through gameplay through training them you will have accumulated a lot of bronze order for troops right probably some silver orders too and you will want to uh or at least i suggest you save your silver orders for what it is that you really want to specialize in later on in a campaign. For me personally, I am saving all of my Silver Order troops for the Engineer 2. Yeah. I haven't decided if it's going to be for Russia or for Germany, but one of the... Or maybe I'll split it between... I'll probably split it between the two, right? Because I play all campaigns. There's no reason to... There's no reason to favor one over the other, and then I won't have as much fun when I play the one that has less stuff. I try to keep everything 
roughly even, like like Normandy, uh, Alice 23, Axis 25, Moscow, Axis 17, Alice 16. Right? I try to sw alternate between them enough to where they're they're you know they're in parity with each other, and that's why I'm playing. Uh, thankfully, Russia in Berlin because I'm six levels behind the Axis, and the only reason I, really that I haven't been playing Russia in Berlin is because Russia <laughs> is winning like something like eighty percent of their games in Berlin. I mean, my goodness, and I don't like knowing that I'm I'm going to be on the winning team. Like that's not fun for me. And again, I enjoy asymmetric warfare, but I enjoy it from the losing side, not from the winning side or the side that's more challenging to uh, achieve victory. And that's why I haven't played a lot of Russia. But regardless, I have to level their campaign up. I can't just leave them behind, obviously. So we're going to talk about this little this little grind today, huh? So we have our engineers first, yeah. You go out, you build rally points. Uh, if you manage to get on an objective, you build ammunition. That's probably the most important because by the time your teammates get there, they're probably shot a few bullets and they'll go, oh, ammo. <laughs> Maybe a few sandbags just to help you capture or defend it, whatever. Uh, sandbags on point. If your if your teammates fight near them, or if you uh, have the MG nest unlocked and they use it, you know every everything that you build in an appropriate location will get you experience, and that's why I load the engineer first to go out and build that stuff, so that over the span of the game, if uh, my things aren't destroyed, <laughs> they will continue to generate experience while I swap off uh, to my assaulters, right? The, the bread and butter, the the push and push in, push in, push in, capture the objective. That's what that's what these gentlemen are about. That's why they have the med pack usage speed, the health restored by med pack, the stamina regeneration speed. These these four gentlemen here, then two of them are Ivans. <laughs> that's fine. But the purpose of this squad is to is to burn it, right? It's to just grrr, get on that objective and just fight as soon as you go down you just hit the swap key because your ai will will uh, except for rtm i couldn't get the role for his men back you should speak rtm's just gonna have to figure it out once we level them up but uh, once you go down as soon as you swap off your ai is going to start bandaging them, themselves up and, and in less than two seconds they're not only going to be up but the the extra health restored by the med pack is gonna is, is, all of a sudden they're not just up and the enemy didn't expect it they're up shooting the enemy and they have uh, i think full health or near full health with the 200 percent from da uh, down state which is silly but that's the name of the game with the squad is you go in guns a blazing huck a grenade in there and if you go down hot swap to your next gentleman do the same thing and as soon as that guy goes down, you just keep repeating the process. Don't heal yourself. Or try. I'll, I'll try not to. I forget sometimes when I try and pick myself up. And I guess that's okay to do because it's such a short uh, animation. But you get the idea. And then in our third slot, uh, because if you just keep pressing spacebar and you don't choose your squad, it will alternate between these three squads. And if you're a free-to-play player, from my understanding, you will have uh, four, I think. After you get a few, you'll have like four squads. I, I don't know. Again, that's why I'm letting my premium lapse. But my fourth slot is a tank, and that is situational. If we have an enemy tank who is just uh, uh, running riot on our team, I'm going to switch to that. Uh, T3045. Oh, which T30, or tanks are great for leveling. And in today's event, I'm done with my events. That's why I have the squad, obviously. But in today's event, Kill 70 enemies using a tank. Yeah. Yeah. So it, there it is. That's why the T3045 is there. We're going to try and get those 70 kills and see what happens when we unlock another one. <laughs> Who knows? But yeah. So this is the rotation. Engineering to build stuff to get us experience. 
assault to have fun. And this is the most important thing that I, a piece of advice I can give you for grinding uh, these campaign levels is make it fun for yourself. Again, this is why I don't like the task system. I do not, mm -mm. If, if you could get the stars for score, and yeah, keep the task, but if you, uh, I could unlock this third star just by playing the game and not thinking about uh, this stuff. That would be a huge improvement. That would uh, uh, attract more people to this game and keep them here because, you know, a lot of people I talk to agree with me that the, the, the Fortnite style star system needs to go or it needs to be complemented by score or experience. You know, no, nobody likes to be told how to play, right? That's why most modern games are going towards, uh, it, it's all about player choice, right? Like the new Battlefield, uh, they've been touting how you can basically build any any squad or any class, any way you want, because that's what people want. They want to just be able to play how they want to play. We, they don't want to come home from a long day at work and see, uh, get 30 mortar kills or artillery kills. Or, you know what I mean? And yeah, you can change them out, but the point still stands. It's a lot more fun for people who don't have a lot of time to just play the game that they enjoy. That's why we're here. That's why I'm here. <laughs> That's why I make videos on this game, because this game's fun. I enjoy it, and I want to see it grow and improve over time. So yes, we need experience to count toward a battle pass they did it in modern warfare and everybody loved battle pass in modern warfare which mostly just cosmetics right <laughs> i guess there are a few weapons here and stuff like that but those were free like the things that people paid for were just the cosmetics and love that system didn't really like the game that much but <laughs> i like the battle pass system but yeah, we'll quit, we'll quit uh, going on and on and on. Uh, you can kind of see what we're thinking here. You know, there's a reason why we have three one-star assaulters is so that once the squad is leveled or these three gentlemen are leveled, we just take them and turn them into a two-star, right? That's why we have two three-star engineers for the same purpose. Once they level, we'll pop them out, put another three-star in there until we have three of those and we can get a four-star. The purpose of today is just to grind our, our soldiers, grind our campaign. And uh, I should have started with this one. Uh, the point of today is to have fun. We're not going for big kill streaks. Uh, we're not doing any of that. We're not, we're not gonna sweat and try hard. We're going to enjoy this game and just immerse ourselves in the World War II shooting man experience. Yes, sir. So, with all that in mind, I'm going to load up a little game here. And we're just going to demonstrate how to make the grind easier. You'll get it. Trust me. <laughs> okay. We are loaded in into our first match of the day. Hoorah. <laughs> but, uh, so, again, all we had to do was press the space bar and we're immediately loaded in as the squad we want because again the first squad on your list will be just as long as it's not a plane don't be putting your plane up top that's just silly don't want to be waiting a full minute to spawn a plane but let's try and stay focused just a little bit huh let's try and stay focused just a little bit just take a look over here huh yeah get a nice little rally point up check our map when you're building your rally points it's a good idea just to look at your map Kind of get a feel for where your team is. You can see, you can see, uh, see if I can get my finger pointed in the right direction, but you can see where your teammates are facing. And if they're facing all in the same direction, or they're facing, you know what I mean? You can kind of pinpoint where the enemy is going to be. We can be. And completely fluff those shots. But that's okay. We don't worry about fluffing shots around here. We don't worry about fluffing shots. Because everybody fluffs shots. Everybody does that. We're just going to not let it bother us too much. Take a little grenade here. And just 
I'll skip the daisy it into that into those Germans. Yep, nice little double kill. Just use that blue light. Use that blue light, brothers and sisters. It's calm. <laughs> Even when you're getting shot, it can help you out. We're just gonna poke our head through this little window here. Yep, I'm gonna say hi to this gentleman. Say hi to that gentleman. Say hi to those two gentlemen. Yep, we're just gonna... Oop. Don't worry about me, bud. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. Just worry about yourself. There's seven kills. There's eight. That's okay. So you just gotta stay calm. Oh, hi there. <laughs> that wasn't calm. That wasn't calm at all. We're just gonna... Be patient here. We're gonna be patient. And wait for the enemy. Wait for the enemy to make a mistake. Huh? Interesting, interesting. That was interesting. Okay. And I'm just going to switch it to semi-auto uh, right off the gate because once I want to see how this thing performs and then once this gentleman... See that? Yeah, that's kind of nice, huh? Does pretty good damage, right? It does pretty good. Ooh. We're not going to worry too much about these little explosions. We're not, we're not going to let it bother us or anything. Silly thing like that. Lob that little grenade in there, didn't get anything, but we can see. We can see. We can see clear as day. We can see clear as day, yep. We can see clear as day, yep. Let's try and think about how we can help our team win, yeah? Okay, so speaking of helping our team win. We're just gonna loop that guy over. Yeah, see that? Air burst it. Air burst it. Yeah, a little panic fire. Never got an idea to panic fire, but there is a purpose to this, right? There is a purpose. Ooh. Just got taken out. Seven rounds left in our little SVT. Okay, let that grenade explode. Take that gentleman out. Mistake our teammate for an enemy, but that's okay. Let's just focus on how we can help our team. Yeah, let's focus on how we can help our team keep these Germans off point. Got a little friendly tank gentleman here. Got a little friendly tank gentleman. Yep. Poke our heads in here. Tell our squad to get in here with us. Don't worry about that little gentleman, huh? Let's not worry too much about that little gentleman. Cook it. And there she is, yep. There she is. Get up on this little soapbox here. We're getting up on a little soapbox. Yeah, nice. Now A is ours again. Now that A is ours, we can afford to push to C. Within, with the idea in our head, how can we help our team? The best way to help our team is to stay with our team and push with them until we are in a location where a rally point makes sense. Yeah? Just gonna keep moving up. Following our team, taking a look at what they're doing, check our map. Okay. So we, we can see a really nice location on our map to put up a rally point. Real nice location. In fact, let's put it back here. Let's put it back here in kind of a super secret squirrely location. Kinda. Kinda, right? Nope. That way, from the Germans' perspective facing this direction, they will not see the rally point. They will only see soldiers, right? And nobody's gonna... Okay, missed that shot. Poor shot. Poor shots, poor shots, but that's okay. You know, I don't, I don't play it 100% every day, all day long. I know none of you do, or most. I guess some of you are probably superhuman and do play it 100% all day, but then I'd have to suspect if you're a robot, <laughs> right? That's funny, right? The point is just to have a little fun and just have a little fun, yeah. Just keep her going. 
Keep her going. Keep that forward momentum. Yeah, get a nice little pick right there. Mark it out for our team. Yeah, just get a nice little grenade pack. Nice little grenade pack, and we're just going to huck that her in there. Gonna huck that little kitten in there. And just take a nice little nice little peer around there. Yeah. A little peer review, right? Don't worry about that fire. Let's not worry too much about that that fire. Get a little butts up here. Because we just need to hold this point for a little bit longer so that our team wins and we get more experience. Yep. Lots of experience for everybody involved. Take a little look around. Take a little look around. Take him out real quick. Just a nice little... Don't don't get too fancy about it. You don't need to get... <laughs> uh, I, I like this PPK. I do. But, again, this demonstrates... Uh, I noticed the vertical recoil with fire rate. Uh, this demonstrates why it's a really good idea to uh, re-roll the horizontal recoil for the vertical recoil reduction and we are online best infantry squad and there's our first game done right the super we had a good time uh we got we got up here for best infantry squad which thank you <laughs> but we got just under 10,000 experience with uh, a premium account and again uh, i think personally that the premium account just you know, for all the benefits that it does give, you know, the added reserves, uh, the experience, just so you can get your toys quicker. Yeah, right? You know, it's free to play, and it is supported by purchases like this, right? You can you can get all these things for free, but at the end of the day, like, like if you're anything like me, you don't have a whole lot of free time, and you... You know, you work a lot of hours and you commute and you only have a little bit, just a short little chunk to play this game. The premium account does make sense. Just to, just so you don't get left like your friends. You don't want your friends all being max level in the campaign and you just sitting there like, oh. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Let's check out. All right. Here we go again. First spawn of the game. We're just going to take a little look at our map. I always like to check my map first. Just kind of get your surroundings, you know, get your bearings. Try and really figure out what it is you want to do. And the first thing that I think uh, most people should want to do is build a, a rally point, yeah? We're going to push in through this little sight line and just get one right here. It's kind of in between. Let's take a look at our map. It's in between B and C. We don't want to push in too hard too soon, otherwise we're going to be dealing with enemies on our rally point. We can always build another rally point when we push in further. Let's just keep our ears open. Keep our ears open. Just take a little look-see. Just take a little look-see. Yeah. Let's go ahead and build sandbags to protect our rally point from just bullets. Let's see if we can Get a teammate. Yep, just pop him, pop him. Give him a little soda pop. Looks like our team's out here giving us a hand now. Yep. Just take those nice little shots. You know, I'm not too good with the SVT yet. You know, I'm not really that, that talented or anything, but you know, that's okay. That's all right. Oh look, we're getting low on ammo, so let's just go ahead and build ourselves a little ammo box here. We're just there she is, yeah. Now that our teammates are spawning on us, we can uh, leave the nest, so to speak. Because we have work to do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Just taking a little look around. Taking a little look around. Dive down low. We don't know if those bombs are for us. Not likely. That was a panic shot, wasn't it? Wasn't that a cute little panic shot? Oh boy, I was so scared. <laughs> yeah, kill that enemy engineer. And we'll get knifed, but that's okay. We don't think about what we're taking out. We don't worry about any of that. Let's just get in 
our second squad. Let's hit the go button. The only thing you want to think about is where you want to spawn. You want to look at the map. Think about how you'll be most useful to your team. Yep, we just get down low. We see where the enemy is. We can hear them out there. We can hear them out there. Yep, we just huck a little love over there. Get a little triple. Get a little uh, multi-kill. Yep. One multi-kill. There's five. You just stay calm, you know? You just stay calm. You just stay calm. You just stay calm. And you just hose them a little bit. You don't... You don't need to get too crazy. You don't need to get too crazy. You don't need to get too worried about seeing a bunch of Germans, right? Just, just like that. As long as you just keep talking to yourself, just keep reminding yourself, hey, bud, it's going to be okay. See, our rally point's still doing work there. Uh, as long as our team keeps using that rally point and defending it, we have a massive advantage against the Germans. We'll see. Take a little look, see around. Let's mark it out for our team. We can see that gentleman over there in the deck blade. And we're just going to give him a nice little, yep, nice little grenade. Nice little grenade toss right in his butt. We're just going to keep moving it forward, yeah? No, let's not. Actually, let's build a few sandbags here. Let's help fortify this position. You use one sandbag to defend yourself while you're building. That's a good thing to do. Just like that. See that? Isn't that nice? Put a little ammunition on point. Put a little ammunition on point so your team will hop on, hop, skip a daisy over here, put a little more ammo right here. Just for our team. We're helping our team out. And if they utilize this equipment, then everybody wins. I get experience. I get experience. They get ammunition, right? Look at that. Nice little assist. Seven rounds left. Take a look at our map. It, it would appear that our other rally point has gone down, so... Stay focused. Stay focused now. Focused on the enemies. Yep, focused on the enemies. Okay. Take a little look. Yep, our rally point went down, so we're going to put up a new rally point, which is very important. Same kind of concept, though. You see where we're at? We're in between all three points now. We just need to defend. Again, when you build a rally point, you want to defend it as an engineer, right? You want to defend your rally points as an engineer so that they get spawned on. Uh, you'll kill anybody who's trying to kill that, uh, your rally point. Oh, look, two panzers. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Let's take a little grenade pack. We see where the enemy is now. We see where they are. And we're just gonna... Yep. Just like that. Yep, formation close. Stay on me, boys. Stay on me, boys. Getting mowed down immediately by MG Fire, but that's okay. That's okay. Let's dip down here. Whoop. Dip down here and just get... We're gonna lay prone on point. Take a look at our map. Yep. It's more important that we lay here and not engage the enemy until we have this capture. So let's spawn on a rally point with our Ivans, our three Ivans. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> We're just gonna bum rush B, huh? Yeah? Just gonna keep our ears open. Keep our little ears open, yep. Okay, I think I saw a German. I'm not really 100% sure, but no, nope, we didn't see anybody over there. Let's just help our team out. We're just helping our team out. Because our team is taking care of C. That's our easy objective, right? That's our, our one that's close to our spawn. That's why we're concerned about B. Okay. i switch off to our engineer again. You're seeing, starting to see a pattern here, right? <laughs> starting to see a little pattern here. Rebuild these sandbags just to give our team something on point to help out with that German push. Huh? Oh, look, artillery. Yep, we need to leave. We need to leave this artillery and get the hell out. Always a good idea to keep checking your map. Just keep checking your map there. Let's take a little look. Let's take a little look. Let's see where the bullets are coming from. 
see where those are coming from. That's okay. We've got friendlies still spawning on our rally point. Market for a team. Market for a team. You just be big brave boss man. Don't worry too much about saving your own skin. Market for your team. Huh? You help them. Boy, those are poor shots, aren't they? Aren't those poor shots? <laughs> it's not just don't just yeah. We're not gonna get excited. We're not gonna do any of that. We're gonna try and stay focused as best we can. See? Got I think three on that one with the grenade. Wow. Wow, okay. Yep, staying calm. Just staying calm, lining up those shots. We're not lining them up. That's fine, too. You know, we don't worry too much about accuracy on Dr. Online's channel. <laughs> now that we've uh, focused the objective, we've focused on building rally points in good locations and making sure that they stay up for the most part. I'm going to huck a big grenade over there. Big grenade got nothing, which is fine. Just mark out where we think the enemy is. Take him out. And there it is. Yep, we just take B right back from those Germans. Yep, we got our engineer out, so yep, again, sandbags. A few sandbags, anybody who fights near him, get a little XP. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it this game. I am feeling it. Yeah. Got some ammunition. Sorry, friend. I'll, I'll tend to you in a second. I just have to really secure this position, bud. Yep, just have to secure this position. Man. Beautiful. Yep, we've almost won. How much influence did uh, did we have personally in this match? I don't know. I don't check my score. I don't really check my score until the end of the match. I don't. I try not to do that. I try really hard not to check my score until the end of the match because, and this is another tip uh, that I have for you, if you're struggling to grind in this game and you find the grind unenjoyable, as a lot of people do, see second place again. Yep, it's okay. Perfectly, perfectly. Oh, lovable oaf. Oh, what a cute name. I want to, I'm going to, I want to add this person. I want to add them. But there you go. Let's, let's really uh, dive deep into this and uh, discuss. You saw two games and then just two games. I don't want to make this video too horribly long for y'all. I know you have lives. <laughs> but I showed you two games where we got just, just under 10,000. And then just over 11,000. So, but between two games, maybe a half hour total time, uh, we we scored over 20,000 experience. Yeah, won both games. And uh, you you might be sitting there thinking, well, how many how many <laughs> how many games did you record uh, to get these uh, gameplays? And believe believe me or don't believe me, these are literally just the two. Uh, the only two games that I recorded for this content today. And uh, that's why you're not seeing, like, you, you don't see any, like, crazy kill streaks in either of those matches or anything like that because I didn't purposefully uh, <laughs> record, like, 20 different games and just cherry pick the best ones, right? I'll, I edited, I, I will edit this or have edited this. <laughs> uh, past tense, right? So I have edited this uh, not to showcase uh, my own lack of skill, <laughs> but really uh, I have edited this, edited this down just to make it more entertaining for you as the viewer, but also uh, to demonstrate what I wanted to demonstrate today, which is you want to know uh, the best way to grind enlisted or the f uh, how to get your campaign levels faster? The answer is to stay calm.
first of all, you want to stay calm the entire. As soon as you get angry, and I, I when I get angry, I can't play for. Sh- <laughs> but that's like the number one. Like just stay calm. Try your best to have fun. The more you are calm and the more uh, fun you're having in this game, the better you will play. And the more calm you are, the more clear your head is going to be. Uh, and I, I struggle with it too, to, re- to remind yourself to check your map and to gather uh, that information uh, from your teammate's position, where they're facing, where they're located. Uh, do you see friendly rally points? Maybe I want to build one in a different location to spread our forces, or maybe it might make more sense to build a rally point close to your teammates just to uh, increase the pressure on that what on that flank. Or you, that'll all come with time. The more you play engineer, and uh, the more that you check your map and learn how to read that information so you can appropriately place rally points, the more games you will win. And that's why I keep saying over and over and over and over, uh, an engineer squad, or at least a squad with an engineer in the first position should be your first choice, I think. And that's my opinion. You can disagree with me all you want, but why wouldn't you want to get that free experience for the rest of uh, for the duration of your buildings being up, the rally points every time someone spawns, you get points. You know, the ammunition you pick up, you get points. All that stuff, right? It only makes sense from a grinding perspective to go out there and beat your little engineer and tootsies <laughs> out to wherever, you know, open your map and go, oh, oh, I can't hardly read this thing. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, there we go. There we are. <laughs> You know what I mean? You just it's like it's like uh anybody who's uh my age and I'm in my early th- oh, excuse me, almost mid 30s. Yeah, I guess mid 30s. I'm 34, but <laughs> but anybody who's my age probably remembers uh navigating with a paper map uh when when we were kids, right? It's it's very useful to have that skill. And, you know, calls go, oh, you just push a button and your map opens up. Well, yeah, that's why I have my map key bound to uh, tab. Yeah, you see, here's my keyboard. That's pretty much the only thing I don't have uh, RGB on, right? Because this is all business, right? This is a Cherry MX. Awesome, awesome keyboard. Uh, very quiet keys for what it is. But, yes, map, I have it on tab, I have it on tab because you don't need to check your score. I didn't check my score one time. Both of either of those games, go back to the footage. <laughs> I didn't edit any of it out. I literally do not check my score ever when I'm playing. Unless it's for a very specific reason, like in Lone Fighters, if I drop bombs, I'll check my score before. And then after they explode, I check my score after. And that's kind of a, a sort of cheesy way... Uh, when you're playing by yourself to just check the effectiveness of your bomb drops, right? But that's that's a topic for another video. I hope that uh, I hope that today's video helps some people enjoy this game more because I think that uh, too much too much emphasis and focus is placed on the progression and on the grind and on the unlocks. And uh, at the end of the day, if you took all of the progression out and everybody just had the same access to the same everything, uh, people would probably just have more fun with this game. And I'm not suggesting we do that. I like grinding personally. I love uh, to unlock things and to see these little numbers pop up and see how well I did at the end of the match. But there you go. Engineers. Oh, yeah. Engineers can get a pretty decent amount. See? Oh, 2047 <laughs> experience. That's cute. 172737 right there. My goodness. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I'm going to quit rambling today because I, I'm sure I've already... <laughs> 
I've already worn out my welcome at this point. But if you're still watching at this point, um, right here, right here, anybody who's still watching, thank you. Anybody who comments, you know, all of you who've subscribed and helped helped my channel grow, you know, like sharing my video links, whatever, whatever has been going on. Uh, <laughs> my views have been pretty decent lately, and I owe that every, every bit of that uh, to you all. So for those of you who are doing all that, um, thank you. You, you've, you have made uh, what started out for me as being just kind of a side hobby, you know, whatever. I didn't really think much of it. To now, I actually, I actually uh, woke up this morning and was excited to, to to make this video. Yeah, I really enjoy this, and I will continue to do it enlisted content as long as I enjoy enlisted, and hopefully. Uh, once this event's over, uh, I mean, I'm just hoping I don't have any inside information. <laughs> Unfortunately, Darkflow, if you want to talk to me, uh, business email. Oh yeah, let's let's do that. Let's go. I mean, instead of just talking about it, let's look at it. So as you can see here, I don't. I'm not trying to brag or nothing, but uh, I'm not real good at math either but how, how many is that let's see those two are about five thousand yeah so i'm like 6500 it doesn't really matter the numbers don't matter but in the last week or so uh i've almost broke seven thousand views i i can't even believe i'm saying that <laughs> to be honest with you i can't even believe i'm saying that that's crazy thank <laughs> again thank you guys so much but where was I even going with this? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so this is my channel. I know you've already seen it because you're on it. Duh. But uh, what, the reason why I opened it up was to go right here. You see this right here? About. About. This is the reason I put this at the end of the video, all right? Those of you still watching it, even at this point, my goodness. I do not want too many of these. But see this view email address? Right here, you just click on it, dr7online at gmail.com. This right here. And at, hey, if anybody's watching this, don't don't be afraid to shoot me an email. I mean, comments on YouTube are, are, are cool. And anyone, if you leave a comment, absolutely, thank you. Uh, but don't don't be afraid. You know, I might I work a lot. I uh, work a lot, of, uh, a lot during, the, <laughs> during the week, so my time is pressed, but I guarantee you I will at least read anything that comes into this email box, right? This is dedicated just for this channel. There's no, hopefully no spam in there yet. <laughs> I just created the damn thing. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if if you're a fan and uh, you just like to let me know any anything that you don't want to just share with the world by leaving it in the comments, uh, please shoot me an email at this address. I will read it, and uh, I, I will try my very best to at least respond. It's not going to be a lengthy. You're not going to get a novel out of me, but I'm going to. Tr I'll try my best to respond to you, especially if you have a question, you know, or an idea or so anything like that. If you just want to tell me uh, how I'm f***ing up OBS <laughs> and and how my videos look like ass. You can tell me that too. I'll get a good laugh out of it. Send me memes. I don't care. You can send me any damn thing you want right here at this email address, please. And I will go through and read them. <laughs> oh, I hope you guys send me some weird, weird stuff. I really do. <laughs> oh, and if you send me another thing, if you send me, if you're another content creator, right? You see, let's go back to the main page. These are the three channels covering enlisted content that I that I mostly watch and interact with. We have Bungle here, who does whiteboard videos. Awesome, awesome dude. I love Bungle. His style, 
so unique, so unique. I, I love the whiteboard. I love the uh, the positive energy. You know, he kind of just gets in the camera and goes, you know, bungle. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I can't do it like he does it, obviously, because he's, you know, he does that from a, his own person. Yeah, whatever. You understand what I'm saying. He's funny. He's fun to watch. And if you're looking for uh, reviews on like premiums, Bungle is your man. Absolutely. I highly recommend bun Bungle. Go, go check him out. You know, reviews guide, stuff like that. Uh, Paratree Trooper, uh, I have collaborated with. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, we all have lives. Uh, I think Paratree's just been busy with, you know, personal stuff, but uh, has told me that they plan on releasing another uh, another awesome video uh, sometime soon. And I, I'm going to go through and uh, kind of just do a little silly review of that. But trust me, check out Paratree Trooper. Uh, we started collaborating on a couple of guides there are a few guides, and I look forward to working with them in the future when they're, you know, they don't, you know, right? Everybody understands, you know, uh, us small YouTubers, this isn't our job yet. <laughs> Nor do I intend for this to be my job. I, I, I only do this for fun. Even if I resign from my position where I'm at and my career, if I, if I change my careers, I'm still going to have a job, but... If this YouTube channel grows to the point where it can financially kind of uh, make a little bit of a buffer, I plan on uh, I plan on maybe I don't know doing something virtual, right? Uh, my, uh, my my mother is telling me that she got uh, some sort of certification where she can teach English in other countries, right? I think that. I, I enjoy interacting with other people, especially on face cam. That's why <laughs> everybody laughs like, what's the point of having a face cam if you don't show your face? Well, I don't want to show my face. And I also don't want to not have this. Like, I, I think I like this. I like I think it's entertaining. I like you being able to peer into my office like it's a little fish bowl. You can see, oh, I did decide on a name uh, for her. My little guardian angel here. It's little one. Yeah. Little one. She's an evil little bee. <laughs> kind of a uh, kind of mean spirited, but you know, she's she's there for a reason, right? She, oh, excuse me. She watches over me with those glaring eyes. Uh <laughs> just to just to keep me straight, right? Just to keep me from fucking up. But yeah, that's a little one, and she is gonna be a staple here. I plan on, I plan on giving her to someone, you know, uh, one of one of you, one of my viewers at some point. But that's that's gonna be far off in the future. Once hopefully, uh, once hopefully she has a bit more of a reputation, has a little more clout behind her because I don't want to just separate with her uh, this little thing this little one little one's very very special to me but that will happen at some point and finally dog for life dog for life um, is is an idea man <laughs> I really enjoy watching uh, his videos because uh, he will just go into great detail about his own personal opinions and how they relate to the game and how he thinks that things could be improved. But he he doesn't go about it in a in a negative way. Like, so, you know, I'm a flawed human being. I I get angry, um, and I know that uh, some of my videos can come across as negative, but. You know what? It's tough love, baby. It's tough love. Some sometimes, you know, you can you can have a ten yes man, but if you don't have at least one one person telling you you're fucking up and shake you around and be like, hey bud, you, you know, sometimes you need somebody to bust your, uh, <laughs> you know, what whatever you're working with, you know, just give you a little little pop. Just to help you kind of refocus, right? Sometimes I need it too. That's why I have a little one here. Uh, she's here to keep me alive. <laughs> that's funny. But yeah, that's it for today. 
Um, my release schedule is going to be uh, somewhat like expect three to four videos a week currently just because of how my work situation is. Uh, but I will improve my methods of for everything uh, for how to produce content and those will steadily increase as I get better at, at making this stuff. But we'll save that for another discussion. But for now, I hope you enjoyed today's video. <laughs> I love you all bunches. Seven out.